Let's start this off with watches and it starts innocently enough in that you grab a watch that's functional and when you wear it, you're like, hey, this thing looks good. So, you decide to bring in some other watches so that you can wear it in a more dressy situation. You bring in some fashion watches. Again, you like the look of them. You're starting to get compliments. So, you go out there and you grab a couple more because, hey, when you're working out, you want a watch that's very functional and then all of a sudden, you start to bring in different styles, different looks and then you know you've gone off the deep end when you start buying the same watch just in different colors and styles and then you reach the point that your family's working because you're spending as much on watches as you did on the down payment on your house. Now, that first example may be a bit extreme, but the point is valid. There are items in your wardrobe you want to own multiples of, a wide variety of to level up your style. Next up, we've got fragrances and first off, if you don't have a signature scent, something that you're defaulting to as your go-to spray, you should look at having one because people pick up and they remember smells. Now, the easiest way to do this is to start to wear one. Find one that works for you. You have the ability to choose. But if you've already got one that you default to all the time, then look to grab others, especially for the seasons. So, for the winter, you want a warmer, heavier fragrance, one that's going to stick around. For spring, maybe you want a lighter fragrance, something that has florals in it. For summer, again, light, fresh, but maybe with a bit more staying power. For fall, maybe something spicy, something strong, maybe something with vanilla. Now, the next two items I think a man should own a wide variety of are glasses and sunglasses. So, here's the thing. Most guys only own one pair of glasses. Now, imagine if you were to change this up. All of a sudden, your glasses become an accessory. They become something you can change up, something that are functional, but at the same time, add style to your look. And there's tons of options out there. You can go with bright, you can go with muted, you can go with something that's just a slight variation from what you're already wearing. And the same logic applies to sunglasses. So many guys default to the style they've always worn versus exploring something new. Now, you may be wondering all the glasses in today's video, where did they come from? Gentlemen, glassesusa.com, the sponsor of today's video. I've worked with them for years and there are two reasons why I absolutely love this company. First up, variety. If you walk in your doctor's office, you look around, he's maybe got a hundred options for you if you're lucky. You go into Glasses USA, you have 4,000 options. So, let's say you like the look of these glasses, but you know what? I want the lenses to be a little bit smaller. Well, boom, all of a sudden, you're able to find that and that's what I love about Glasses USA. And when it comes to finding a better price, good luck on that. Guys, prescription lenses plus frames starting at $30. And one of my favorite tools over at GlassesUSA.com, the virtual mirror. Guys, you can try on any pair of frames and see what they look like by simply uploading your photo. And guys, it's a risk-free shopping experience, free shipping, free returns, 100% money back guarantee and a 365 day product warranty. And again, gentlemen, look at the selection. They've got designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, Gucci and they've got their in-house brands Muse and Amelia E. Gentlemen, they've got sport glasses, sunglasses, safety glasses, kid glasses and more. Guys, by cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com is able to offer you 70% off retail prices. I'm linking to them down in the description with the best discount code you're going to find out there. Use it or lose it, guys. It's a great deal. Great glasses. Go check them out. The next item on my list, dress shoes. And if your default is a black Oxford Balmoral, you want to own two of these. Why? Because you want to rotate. You want to give them a day to breathe. When you wear shoes all day, especially high quality leather shoes, they're going to absorb sweat. They're going to absorb moisture and they need time to breathe to basically let out that moisture. So, you know, you can change it up, maybe bring in another color, but I would recommend, again, if you've got a default workhorse shoe, own two of them. They're going to, it's not going to just double the length, it's going to triple the length that the upper is going to last. Next up, gents, we've got white sneakers. And notice I said white sneakers. You want them to be clean and to look good. So, have two pairs. Why? Because when you want to put that outfit together, you know these are the shoes that you're going to go to and all of a sudden, you look at those shoes and they're just looking more worn than you remember. You want to have another pair that you can go to. In addition, if this is your go-to style, your go-to sneaker, you want to make sure that you're like similar to the dress shoe, you've got some shoes in rotation so that they're able to breathe and that they're going to last longer. Next up, gents, we've got V-neck sweaters. My default is gray. I love this. It works pretty much with anything. Then I start to bring in some color. I really do like a blue like this. It's going to be a little bit harder to match than the gray, but still going to work with a number of items in my wardrobe. Then I bring in something with a bit of color. If I were to bring in another, I would actually bring in another gray. Don't be afraid to get the same thing again and again, similar to the next item, this navy blue shirt. Now, you guys, if you've watched my videos, you know this is one of my go-to items, but I find that a casual button down in a color that works for you, just you should go with. For me, navy, 
dark blue, even medium blues. I know that this works with my tones. It works with all of my jackets. It's going to fit into my interchangeable wardrobe and I'm going to get a lot of miles out of this particular shirt. Now let's talk about the white dress shirt. So you want to have at least five in your wardrobe. Some of you guys may think that's too much, but here's the thing is you're going to change up the style and you always want a crisp white shirt. This is something you can dress up, you can dress it down. So starting off this one, very classic. It's made from a poplar material, nothing really fancy about it. And that's why it's a classic. Then you get another one made from a twill fabric. So twill is going to be a little bit heavier, a little bit denser. This one is going to be great during the winter. Then you bring in one that looks just like the other one, except guess what? French cuffs going to be a level, just a level higher when it comes to formality. Then you bring in this one, had a little bit of fun. It's got a broad cloth material, but notice the contrast collar in there, just a little bit of style, a little bit of fun. And then I've gone into linens. Guess what? All of a sudden, this is going to be great light for the summer. Make sure to iron it though. And then this one right here, I've got the pockets, I've got the epaulets, a fun style, but again, something I can wear during the summer. And now let's talk jackets, specifically lightweight jackets. What I love about these is that you can layer and they have all the great features of building up your shoulders. If it fits you well in the torso, it will slim up your silhouette. They can make your hands look larger if you actually wear something that is tapered in on the sleeves. So you want to learn more about jackets? Guys, check out this video right here. I've got 20 lightweight jackets that I recommend. I go into great detail on when I talk about sports jackets and a lot more than just that. I cover it in this video, which I will link to down in the description.